Welcome to Daytona International Speedway in Daytona Beach, Florida, qualifying underway for the Golden Eagle Syrup Super Speedway Series, part of the Sidewinder Racing Leagues. Drivers heading out on track for qualifying. They have five minutes to try and run a lap or two to set their fastest lap. Josh Carver being blasphemous in the number three Ford Mustang. <laughs> Twenty-eight Logan Pugh, those Havilland colors out on track. Doug Ross Jr., the 96. Got Red Cell in chat with the Let's Go Trenton. Number 20, Toyota, Troy Burke. You hop around and try to find folks. I already showed you Carver. TJ Floyd up the speed in the 49. If you're not familiar with our series for the Golden Eagle Super Speedway Series, we run each track three times in three different vehicles. We've already done Cadillacs here at the Bumpy Daytona. Now we're running the Gen 6, and eventually later this season we'll run the NASCAR trucks here. Jake Lawrence won on the Cadillacs on this surface. Quinn Newton, the 88 Pepsi Camaro. Waddy in the Intracoastal Chevy. Lap time start to pour in. Trenton Sneed in the Nesquik car, fastest on lap one. Yamant shows third quick. Looks like he's in a Toyota, the DoorDash Toyota for the 01. Josh Carver. That Ford number three goes to the top of the board. Mike Edwards, he's got the Friday Fun Night car. Advertising for our fun night after this. That's why it's all pink and goofy. Because we like to have fun. $10 to win Friday Fun Night. While we're talking about it, all you have to do is have the highest average finish across all five races of Friday Fun Night. And you can win $10 most weeks, but this week it is actually 20 Triton goes P2 in the 81. Carver's second lap slower for the three, so his first lap is where he got it done. See who's still out there. Troy Burke. Currently ninth. Got Ethan Evers in 11th. Those two still out on their lap for lap two. <laughs> Come quad. <laughs> if you don't know about Kumquat, come hang out at Friday Fun Night. Ethan all the way down on the apron. That is going to be good enough for ninth, so looks like lap one was the way to go. Josh Carver gets the fastest lap on lap one of his two-lap run. Edwin, I'm going to say this is DeBoer. I might be wrong. New name, just got in the league while we were broadcasting the last race. Qualifies 13th. Bobby Patrika. <laughs> he just has the plainest car ever. He told me it was going to be a quick job. I thought he already had one painted and just needed to change the numbers, but it seems not. So we got a number 12 Toyota. Hopefully that team can pick up some sponsorship next week. Watkins jumps up to fifth. So watch Patrika down the back stretch. Those of you on Twitch know him as the Bearded Gentleman 28. I don't know if he's going to have time to make it back around here. And he does not. So Josh Carver in the three forward will be on pole here. 28 cars for this race. Should be a good time from Daytona. 60 lap race, 50% fuel tank unlimited tires because, well, if you're taking tires at Daytona, you probably have more issues than your tire count. <laughs> P1 
field starting to grid up on pit lane. Let everybody jump out there. Take a moment to reset some things here. So we don't need the official results laying there. Give the drivers a moment to grid up. Josh Carver going to be your pole sitter. I don't think he's in chat or else we'd have a quick word with him. No, no three car. Don't get to have fun with him. Seems like everybody but your pole sitter is on track. <laughs> Slow it down the starting line up here. Come on, Josh. Get on track. Do it. Get on the track. Doesn't want to listen. <laughs> I tried. Tried to make him get on track. This is only 28 cars, so I don't have to run through a 40 car grid in one lap. <laughs> We're all waiting on you, Josh. Everybody. The broadcast, the drivers, the fans. Everybody's waiting for the three team to push that Mustang onto pit road. <laughs> I am enjoy enjoying the awkward silence. I think it's entertaining. Where are you at, Josh? Just does not want to get on track. There he is. We can do the starting lineup now. <laughs> starting lineup presented by our friends at Labor 12. Appreciate them jumping on board and giving us this awesome lineup music to play. For our starting lineup, Josh Carver in the three. Number three Mustang will be your pole sitter. Trent Snead, the Nesquik Chevy, starts in second. Quinn Newton, Pepsi Chevy in third. Yamantros, the DoorDash Toyota in fourth. Derek Watkins, the Intracoastal Chevy in fifth. Mike Edwards, the Friday Fun Night. Chevrolet starts in 6th, TJ Floyd, Blackstone Chevy in 7th, Logan Pugh, Haviland Ford 8th, Bobby Patrika in the 12 Toyota in 9th, Ethan Evers, Dockside, Rental Chevy in 10th, looks like Troy Burke did not grid up, he would have started 11th, Will Spark, he starts 12th in this Holden Chevrolet, DeCross Jr., he'll start 13th in the 96 Imperium Ford, Edwin DeBoer, the Interstate Chevy, starts in 14th, Nathan Harper, Pennzoil Ford in 15th, Jeremy Clapper, Newell Martin Sports, Chevy in 16th, Travis Grimetta, Labor 12, Chevy 17th, Cliff Mullins, Nesquik, Chevy in 18th, Margison in a scantily clad USA Ford in 19th, which is funny because he's Canadian, Daniel Wallen, Labor 12, Chevy in 20th, Cameron West, 21st, Adam McKinney, 22nd, Toyota, Toyota, Logan Rhodes, Energizer, Chevy 23rd, Lucky in the Labor 12, Chevy 24th, Jake Lawrence, the Hoonigan Chevy in 25th. Tony Sanders, West Virginia Mining, starts in 26th. Scott Elston, Radio Control Car Action Magazine, starts in 27th. We have Jonathan Christian in the Crown Royal Car, starting 28th. 28 car field here for Daytona tonight. That is our starting lineup presented by our friends at Labor 12, as we're showing you the schedule and points for no good reason. Trying to turn that off. <laughs> Field works their way out of turn four. Getting set for a 60 lapper. Golden Eagle Syrup Super Speedway Series. Pace car heads down pit lane. Josh Carver controls the field to the green. They do have to wait until the green waves before they can go. And there we go. Green flag is out. Carver leads. Trenton Sneed leads the outside line. Outside usually gets a pretty good push on these initial starts. Outside lines pretty well formed up. Five cars nose to tail. The inside very spread out. You see these cars bouncing around a lot. This is the 2008 scan of Daytona, so there's a lot of bumps. Outside line, as I said, getting a good push. Trent Sneed breaks out to the lead. Montrose drops in behind him. Mike Edwards now leads the outside line. Notice these cars bouncing around a lot more than you're used to because it is the old Daytona. Takes a bit more driver skill to go through all these bumps and not wreck everybody. Edwards gets left up on the high lane. See 28 of Logan Pugh surges to the front. Oh! 
Nice job holding on to that. I think that was Cliff Mullins in the 37. Got out of shape in one and two. May have been some contact to get him there, but hangs on to the race car. Everybody's still in one big pack right now. Looks like they're trying to spread out a little bit and start making laps. Try to get to the pit stop before we start using fast repairs. Edwards and Evers' teammates push to the lead from the top side. Evers looks like he's going to drop down and lead the bottom lane. Now Delta Prime controlling both lines. Will Spark at Holden Chevrolet pushing Mike Edwards. The inside line a little bit better formed up with Pugh and Trenton Sneed. Coin Newton try to pull up through that sucker hole. Catch the draft. Will Sparks going to bail on the top side, drop down low. Now Edwards has Ethan. That's not Ethan. Has Ian Montrose behind him. Bobby Patrika joined the series about three minutes before qualifying. The series needs Neo. No series needs Neo. Friday Fun Night needs Neo. That's about it. Is now pulling back together. Let's you see some of these gaps disappear. Quinn Newton drops to the bottom in front of Ethan Evers. Ethan going to get pushed up to him from Pew. Trenton drifts down to the bottom. Will Spark gets suckered hold to the middle. Edwards and Mancho says Ethan Evers gets turned. Is everyone going to hang on to it? No. Derek Watkins gets sent into the outside wall hard. Thought they were about to save that. Then Derek Watkins got turned hard in the 41. Take a look back and see what happened to Wadi. Ethan Evers gets turned. Wadi gets in the back of the 28. Then 28 gets hit by Patrika. That turns the 41 into the outside wall. Our pole sitter, the 3, gets a piece. Why is that early? They were behaving for a while. The 3 wide, people just can't hold it. The 3 wide wasn't the issue. I survived. 3 ride was not the five, issue. Man, let's ride. If you want to ride, don't be that close to the pack. <laughs> hey, Ethan, can you see how my front end looks? Did I actually hit anything there? Is that Bobby? Yeah, front end damage on the driver's side there, Bobby. Thank you. Left front and middle front. You got a little boop on the rear bumper there too, but nothing serious. Appreciate All it. these cars made it. Ethan has a little bit of left There's side a damage. Name I haven't seen in a while. How you doing there, Bobby? DJ Is that Flo? the Bobby Patricia? Patrika. Patrika? Yeah. <laughs> Shall we? Heavy damage to this 96. Let's see who comes down. Ethan stays out, as does the top six. Bobby Patrico on back, coming down for damage repair. I don't think he'll take the fast repair. I think some drivers in the back may have to, though. So we go to the back of the pit boxes as usual. <laughs> Daytona never disappoints for that. Bobby Patrico misses his pit box. Let the backup try again. So Trenton is now your leader. Nine-tenths of a second of optimal. That's impressive. <laughs> Newton second. Yeah, I Mike got three minutes. Edwards third. Ian Macho's fourth. And I got meatballs. Will Spark fifth. I feel better now. Ethan Eber sixth. TJ Floyd seventh. Hey, me too. Agross eighth off pit road. Car had a lot of That's damage, it looked like. Said. But he's mark? out in nine seconds. That's strange. I don't think he took the fast repair. And there's still heavy, heavy damage at 96. He was not there very long. Crew obviously didn't bother fixing much. Logan Rhodes. 
currently ninth. Jake Lawrence, tenth. Ethan Harper, eleventh. Scrimettis, twelfth. Okay. okay, I get you. I understand. Comprende? Comprende. Si, senor. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, but I respect new toys, so. Comprende is. First state. No idea what's happening. What am I? <laughs> no idea what's going on. El Baño? Dante está el Baño, that I understand. Right, SRL has gone multicultural, bitches. I mean, I was pronouncing words in French well, last week. Konnichiwa. Mas tequila, por favor? Si. No, 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 no. Muy mas. Muy mas tequila. Muy mas tequila. Por favor. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> no, no, no more lemon pledge. What does lemon pledge have to do with this? <laughs> One degree. Top six have stayed out here. Everyone else came to pit road. Number of them for damage repair. Well, we're about a half a lap away from going back green. Let's see for it the quick repairs. Quick repairs. Who's who's burned them? Scrimetta burned one. 28 a few. 55 Margison. Let's see the back half of the top. Group here. Should split hey, in a moment. Uh, uh. For some reason it only shows 21 and 22, even though there's 26. Oh, hold on, I'm at the back. I've been drinking and stuff, you know? <laughs> but do you know? He's pre gaming for Friday Fun Night. Field works through three and four. Okay. Yes, Toby. Okay, thank Wadi's you. Wadi's pre-gaming. Wadi is pre-gaming. Hey, I'm, I'm on your outside. I, that wasn't me. Outside. Well, whoever is sitting in the ass stand, I appreciate that. Thank you. Marjuson letting everyone know he enjoyed getting it was spanked. Not me, but you're welcome. <laughs> it's not me, but you're welcome. Green flag back of the air. We're back underway. It's a Canadian Civil War. Uh oh. What's that, Labute? <laughs> Sounds like it. Trenton Sneed leads Quinn Newton. They have Mike Edwards, Ian Montrose, teammates side by side. Ethan Evers right there in the eight as well. We have Will Spark, TJ Floyd. Newcomer, Douglas Ross Jr. Edward's going to pop up high in front of his teammates as they catch up to the leaders. Will Spark almost hit the wall. The dust was flying. He was so close. We're just going to lead that lap from the outside lane. Field breaking apart here. Will Spark gets turned and gets turned again. Ian Montrose finishes him off. Oh my gosh, Will Spark flying through the air as the pack piles in. Will Spark. Well, your net code is outrageous at times. TJ, I swear to God, it's always us that come together. <laughs> Jake Lawrence and TJ Floyd, <laughs> not again. Oh, what was that air traffic control? How's this for a flashback, Mike? Edward? <clears throat> and it's all hot. You just want to turn me, huh, dude? And it's the whole damn field directly behind the 14 and me. <laughs> Montrose and Will Spark. Yeah, you look like I that one time in hey, taking a hell of a tumble. As far chases. I'm like literally looking out the wrong part of the window to drive forward. Yeah, I don't think really that was Netcode. 
I'm watching that. <laughs> Can we get an AOL to the uh, 88? I have to change off the fire chase. I want to watch the fire chase, yeah, damn it. I'm dead. Cameron, I don't want to be like right behind when you go boom. He so hits him in the left rear, it's not netcode. <laughs> right, he doesn't line up, hits him in the left rear in the corner. Can you please screw up? That one is definitely Montrose is doing. I've been, I've been trying, I blew my engine. I can't believe he got on the mic and says your netcode is atrocious. I mean, that is that is Ian Montrose right there. Like the end of a moon car race. I mean, yeah, it's a lot like that. You should have seen that race last night, backmarker. It's on YouTube if you want to check it out. It was bad. 27 of the 28 trucks on track were in the wreck. The only one that wasn't one. <laughs> he was 18th when the lap started. Made it through the wreck and won. <laughs> it's crazy. Passing on... Passing on the yellow because I was crab walking because I got meatballed. You didn't get meatballed. You got your you, you meatballed yourself. Oh well. Was that was that one my fault? No. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it wasn't. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. Sorry, Ian. Wow, I can't believe he's accepting that. Ian turns him. Hey Tony Cliff, you on a pit next up? So many cars on pit road. What's this? I just got from the booth that that was not Will's fault there. Yamantra yeah, sits him in the left rear corner and turns him. Gets him out of shape and then doesn't give him room to save it and then hits him again. She said it wasn't my fault. Correct. Yes, I'm dumbfounded too, but yes, it's not your fault. <laughs> Marge <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I'm dumbfounded too, but it was not your fault. <laughs> Almost had that thing missed on the high side. Whoever was sideways across the track got hit at the last second and got kicked back up to the outside. Oh my goodness. All I'm saying is I tried to help a guy and, you know, I went a lap down, but I will win this race. You watch. That's what you get for helping people. He didn't even take care for dinner, Waddy. I fucked the fuck. <laughs> he tickled me first, so it's all right. I like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we tickled your pickle. Okay. That poor pickle. We call it... Never mind. <laughs> Probably for the best. It's not Friday Fun Night yet. We're getting there. We're, we're pre-gaming yeah, for it. If it wasn't closed, I'd hit it. What? Exactly. <laughs> Here's a link from that truck if race if you want to see that. If closed, I would have pitted right there. I'd give you a lap back. Oh, I was joking, man. Don't worry about it. You, uh, just don't wreck Cliff. Or do. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. Where art thou? Now, Tony Sanders stays out here. Now, Will, I'm behind you. Now, understand this. I am behind you. Okay? <laughs> I understand that your car is behind mine. So you know what that means. You gotta brake check it. Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever happened to the team, shut the fuck up. Ooh. They got uh, the boot. That's us now. Right, Will? Yes. Correct, that would be us now. Where's the 12? Hi, Kevin. There he is. Oh man, I just always assume you're the 28. <laughs> I get up, like, oh, it's so nice to see Gen 6s. After dealing with those next gens, yes, the Gen 6s makes me happy. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Whoa. It is really good to see Bobby. Hope that things are working out for you, man. Cameron. Cameron, we don't wish bad voodoo in here. I couldn't do 28 because there's like 60 numbers that are taken, so I had to go to like my 32nd choice. 
<laughs> Gosh. You missed the CTSCs here. It was a race. It was a race. It was a blast. Kind <laughs> of lucky, like, did you got a top three? <laughs> Tony Sanders leading us to the green. Mike Edwards behind him. Outside Cliff Mullins and the 84. Jonathan Christian. Trenton Sneed there, the next quick machine. Inside lines, it's doing good work here on the restart. I think Edwards wants to go for the lead. Doesn't really have any help right now. He's got a long way to go before someone catches back up to him. I guess he just didn't want to be stuck behind the 15. So he'll take charge of that outside line, try to get that going. Sanders breaks away by himself. Mullins and Edwards side by side for second. Mullins disappearing. Here comes the outside line. Mike Edwards surges ahead. Help from the 84. Oh, that's going to be close. Yikes. <laughs> Christian just barely squeezing down in front of the 15 of Sanders. Now Trenton. He is pushing his teammate there, Cliff Mullins. Those Nesquik cars. Outside line is led by Jake Lawrence and Cameron West. Cameron has one of those nondescript paint schemes on there. One of the game's base models. Ian Montrose, what has happened to Ian? Ian's on pit road. Oh, one car. On pit road. Edwards out front as we get to the one quarter mark. If it works on the back stretch for lap 15. Um, Will, there's a line there. <laughs> Man, Cameron West, 67 car. Are you good, Cameron? Bobbing and weaving. You know, TJ Floyd saying, are you good? That kid's not old enough to drink. Shouldn't look like that on track. Looks like the top three have kind of settled in a bit. We'll see if Cliff Mullins decides to ride or if he pops up to that top line. Adam McKinney also on pit road. Four cars, now one lap down. Derek Watkins, the leader of that group. Wadi at the back of this lead pack, trying to stay the first car a lap down. Quinn Newton, the car he's fighting for him, right behind him in the 88. Oh, Cliff's been blinking. Where have you been? He just was behind Trenton, so he couldn't see it. Now Trenton's gone to the top. <laughs> Will Spark can actually see Cliff blinking. I love how I took all the optional repairs, but I'm somehow, like, I'm, all, I'm hurt. My engine's down. Couldn't tell who that was. There's only a minute the box, so I was like, oh, I'll just go ahead and fix that and save the faster pair, but apparently uh, that was a mistake. Oh, Bobby, yeah, his car was tore up pretty bad. Left front. There's Bobby. Yeah, I learned the last two races. Save the faster pair, just fix it down multiple left. Jake Lawrence in third. Trenton Steed second. Tony Sanders out front as they were able to use that top line to motor ahead. Will Spark fourth now. Mike Edwards back in fifth. He's not going to settle for that as he peeks to the outside. Tucks back in line. Now the lead pack is single file. It's like everyone in the field has been to pit road at least once. You are Does anyone else want to tell Cliff he's blinking? blinking? There we go. Thanks, Quinn. Right on cue. I, th I think I'm blinking. Yeah. 
Cliff Mullins is blinking. Well, once everyone knows, we should be good. Make the field finally content to make laps and try to get to that first pit stop when things start to get some separation. The second group Elston, Evers, DeBoer, Clapper Newell, Sorry, and the 88 of Newton. Looks like they have some damage. They are currently 3.4 back in losing grounds. I wasn't trying to push too hard there. Looks like Evers has some nose damage, so he needs to stay in line and push Elston. Probably need a healthy car to push Elston. That is not going to be Evers. So they're still losing ground in this configuration. We got some action up front, though. Trent Snee going for the lead on the outside of Tony Sanders. As the outside line forms back up. And the 84 bounces off the wall. Mike Edwards lifts to give him room to save it. Heads up move by the 14 to give the 84 some space. Trenton and the 68 of Lawrence break out to the lead. Jonathan Christian giving us a scare there. Now he goes to the bottom. Jumps in front of Sanders. Will Spark goes to the top. Cameron West up there. Those two are teammates. The 4-5 and the 6-7. A couple of 23-11 numbers. Need to recruit Daniel Lawal in a second. The 23 is there's contact in the front. And Mike Edwards has gone around. No fault of his own. Somebody on the outside got loose. A push from the 68 into Trenton Sneed. Sends Mike Edwards airborne into the inside wall. So a bad push from Jake Lawrence turns Trenton Steed into Mike Edwards, which saves Trenton Steed's car and sends Edwards into the inside wall. Don't do it, Quinn. No, I'm not trying to. I wasn't paying attention to the turn and to avoid wrecking him. I was I have the world of outlaws on my left screen. I got two invested. <laughs> I think there was part in that code in that, uh, Trenton. I'm sorry. Second, one second. Quinn, you have the authority to execute Order 66 whenever you like to. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people would like that. Yep. And he's now on pit lane. I owe you a free GFEA. Oh, you don't speak those letters unless you mean it, sir. <laughs> I do mean it. So now the top 10 cars in this mostly organized lead pack. A little bit of a gap in the middle. And that second pack's trying to run them down. With that issue with Jake Lawrence, they gained some ground, but now they're losing ground yeah. again. Hey, God. We're in NASCAR, let's call it pitting. Well, whenever you want to, I, or anybody else for that matter wants to, you know, go down pit road. <laughs> in five laps? I say that's awesome. Bad juju. Bad juju. <laughs> are better than next gen changed my mind I think the next gen puts on a better super speedway race though. but yes the cars look better 
I don't think we should allow Will Spark to win, though, because he did the next-gen numbers on this car with the number forward thing, and it makes me want to just throw his car into the river. Or Lake Lloyd, whichever. I can do that for you, Swiss. <laughs> yeah, you're in prime position to do that. Cameron rests once Are you again. Are bounty on Will's head? I'm interested. Dancing around. I can do that. Uh, first one to throw Will Sparks' car into like, Lake Lloyd. I Jake and Zach say it, and then my own teammate just says he's going to kill me. I love this. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Sidewinder. <laughs> first, one to put Will, the first one to put Will Spark in Lake Lloyd gets uh, a, a three-position boost. Three-position boost in Friday Fun Night. What? <laughs> of course, it's not serious, but... Uh, See who peels off. Here comes Cliff Mullins. And others. <laughs> Make up your oh, mind. Cliff's going to spend. Will Sparks going to get a penalty for unsafe hit exit. Cliff's doing a donut, which is going to get contact. Oh my gosh, fortunately into the box, so they don't actually make contact, but the 84 has to slam on brakes. Now Cliff's going to go out in the grass and pick up a penalty. <laughs> my I gosh. Got 3 84 missed his box after all that, had to back up. Will Spark. Is there any stage points in this or no? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Somehow it's showing Tony Sanders as a leader on pit road. This makes no sense. Say halfway. Now it makes sense. End of halfway. See? End of end of thirty. Easy. End of halfway. When are you guys pitting, Scott? <laughs> this guy. Whenever I want to. You have a team for a reason. Work with your teammates, not the whole field. <laughs> Trenton closing up on Ian Machos as he's going by. Can't tell who that was. I think the 15 of Tony Sanders. Machos now two laps down as Trenton goes by. Pretty much everyone's going to be on that same strategy. Pit Qu this time, anyone pit me. Yep. 68 pitting in this time. I believe Margison will go with as well. Would you guys like to pit the... the 8 pitting, 8 pitting. 88 pitting. I am pitting. I am pitting. <laughs> I like Daniel I'll later. Take, I'll take the inside turn because I didn't qualify. Stop it. Here they come. Jake really cooked it in there. Did you make it? I did. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for bashing me into the middle of the pit there. Appreciate it. Oh, we got anger. Oh, never mind. I got the 40 second hold for hitting the cone. Let's go back and see who got hit where. No Elston King hauling in there, bounces off of TJ Floyd. That's going to be trouble for Elston. Ethan Evers, he's going to get an unsafe pit entry. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of not good pits there. We stay green. Pitting this time, 14. Pitting this time. I just wanted to get the stage points. Clapper Newell going to get the... Seconds better than in the back. Clapper Newell wins the stage. By a long margin. <laughs> this is the only one that's crossed the line for this lap. Or one pit in the spot. Here comes the 83. Cones are on my hit list now. Lucky. 
gets second in the stage. Carver currently in third. Second at the stage. Woo -woo. Second in the stage was lucky. Uh, I think that's worth it, running out of fuel to get stage points. I didn't run out, I forgot point six in the tank. There's your top ten. Lucky, Josh Carver, Trenton Sneed, Zach Marson, Edwin DeBoer, Logan Rhodes, Cameron West, Tony Sanders, and TJ Floyd picking up stage points. Box in here, box in here. Everybody all of a sudden martial artist with all this boxing. Clapper Newell on pit road. As is the 83 of Lucky. Trenton is your leader behind Will Spark. Well, most of these pit stops have been made. Let's look at all the penalties that came out. Jake Lawrence in the 68 picked up a hold. 40 second hold it looks like. Will Spark 16th picked up a penalty. Ethan Evers picked up one. I'm not sure what happened to Derek Watkins in the 41. I think he was just a lap down. Shows why he's in this pack. Quinn Newton was also a lap down, so that's a normal spot for them. Elston picked well, up a penalty. Back it up, Mullins you. picked up a penalty. Lawallen picked up a penalty. Up, uh. A lot of guys were not prepared to make a green flag stop in these Gen 6 race cars. Seems like they forgot how to. Trent Sneed always practices those sort of things. And look where he is. Way out in front, drafting with the nearly a lap down 45 car. And Ian Montrose, second place, Zach Martison all by himself. It's now five seconds behind Trenton. Trenton worked that strategy beautifully. And he's hoping this race goes green the rest of the way. Here comes Wadi and company to whip around Martison. Cameron West will take second. At 88, Quinn Newton not for position. Here comes the 29. DeBoer as the caution is out. Trenton's no! not oh, wanting man. to see that. Trying to catch the pack. My fault. Oh my gosh, Sanders went for a hell of a ride. It's like 84 sticks the nose in there. Get Sanders out of shape, then they both go up and smack the wall. Tony Sanders, unfortunate, gets torn up there pretty bad. With the helicopter ride to the fence, Trenton Sneed's five second lead disappears. We gotta go all the way around, guys. Will Spark. Cars on the back stretch for you guys that need to catch up. Will Spark stays on the lead lap by being ahead of Trenton in that draft. You damaged 84. Let's see who picks up a lucky dog. I'm gonna assume the 41 of yeah, Watkins if he didn't but get any contact. Let's go, let's go. Let's move, let's move. Pace car entering turn three. Is that, is that, is that car goes, Tony? Yeah, 140 is all I got. Uh, you're cruising. You're cruising. Might want to EOL. Might want to EOL the 15. Hit him, and Quinn. Hit both of them. <laughs> Ethan Evers won. And Ethan. Oh my gosh, Cliff. <laughs> Piling on there. All these guys wanting a lucky dog after their Harvey. mistakes. I got an EOL, fellas. You can go by. I think the 01. Or. 15 just got the EOL so that everyone can catch up. Damn it, Lucky, let me eat your ass. <laughs> no. No. No touche. No touche. Trenton on pit lane. Probably top off the tank. Uh -huh. Oh, Ian, I about shoved my ass there. My. 29, you Edwin fuck. DeBoer. I don't know what you the... You cost me the wave around. That's a teammate right there. Oh, the 67. Cameron West has stayed on track and cost quite a few people a wave around. A lot of people angry at Cameron West right now. That's no one on the list. Only because it hurts me, though. Trenton Sneed, TJ Floyd... I'm oh, off of pit road. Right now. I think Cliff's going to go give the 67 a smack <laughs> for staying out. <laughs> Who squashed the bug on your bumper, Queen? Hmm? 
So the 67 car, very unpopular right now. The only car to stay out. Uh, J.R. Deal, obviously. I thought Corey Deal was the windshield bug guy. Yeah, that's Corey's thing. <laughs> Good, I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, there's $20 to win a Friday fun night. Yes, talk about that. Uh, Corey Deal, want to be let you all know that is trademark on the Corey Deal Industries. If you do it, you have to pay some money. So, good luck. So, good luck. <laughs> $100 royalty fee. Hey, we're just, we're, we're just giving a hard time. You run your own race, man. Since we got the Friday Fun Night plug in there, we'll show Mike Edwards' his car off. I know Dwadi's behind him. That's probably why he said it. Corey stands the windshield, not the bumper, though. Good point. That is a very good point. All body panels are included in the package, okay? <laughs> quick, quick, put a trademark on it. Trademark the bumper. Lucky it helped if you know what you're talking about. So the 01 gets the wave around. He'll go from two laps down to one. So now we have from 18th to 23rd all one lap down. Bye, Daniel. Daniel did not pit like all the other lap Wait, down cars did. Everyone else was a lap down, dude. Man, need the beer. <laughs> I like pit it the first time around, so yeah, that can happen. I was watching World Outlaws again and they got beat off pit road. <laughs> Quit. Where are they at tonight? They are in Jackson, Minnesota, and I'll be going tomorrow. Ooh. And I'm seeing Stephen May Olsen tomorrow, so ha ha. Who the fuck is that? Never heard of it. Thank you. <laughs> what? Country singer, Quinn. That really something to brag Probably about? Canadian. No, she sounds hideous. <laughs> well, she's a country singer, so. Well, she's a guy. So. Oof. Wouldn't have gone that far. He ended failing. Let you buy. We should do something. Anyone else's mind just kind of completely. I push you if I want to push you. Okay. Fucked by that 29 interstate battery Chevy. <laughs> so many things are wrong with that. So Cameron West is your leader. By staying out here. You might want to get out of the lead if you don't want to get a push, Cameron. Just saying. TJ Floyd laying the business down right there. I guess Cameron said in text chat he didn't want to push. you in the wrong place if you don't want to push. Oh my god, they're wrecking. Jesus Christ. And they're Ain't dying at the uh, back. Quinn Newton, I think, is I involved. I just shit my fucking pants. The green is still out. iRacing decides this is not well, a my caution. Is now on the passenger seat. <laughs> I'm, I'm docked. I can't. They all checked up really hard on that inside line. Oh my gosh. Where did I, that start? I don't know what like, everybody just stopped. Like the five yeah, didn't go. Check up on the inside line. I think Will Spark tried to jump the start. Everyone followed I'm him. Spun up into the outside wall from the bottom is what happened. No. The five car backed off there. Logan Rhodes checked up that inside line. Yeah, the five. Logan Rhodes slowed down big time on the restart and just caused a massive issue. Where did it come from? The five car. The five car. Yeah, we started going, and then everybody just absolutely stopped. And I tried to get on the brakes, but I just absolutely annihilated the 88. I couldn't stop. No, I don't think it was me, bro. It was definitely you, Fife. 100%. Hush, hush now. <laughs> it was 110%. I believe oh my gosh, there they go again. TJ Floyd, Are the 21 of Clapper Newell. Clapper Newell got out of shape and into TJ Floyd. Now? That one's bringing out a caution. All by himself, it looked like. Did what Edwards touch him? Just there? I just saw my light flash from my eyes. That's what happened there. 45 got out of shape. Yeah, then Edwards gets into Clapper Newell as they try to save it. 
So Will getting loose on that top lane in front of everybody checks huh? up the outside line. Edwards gets into Clapper Newell and all hell breaks right, loose. You got loose. <laughs> you getting loose caused that. Not my problem. I mean, you caused hell it. Hell yeah, got all 40 seconds of my black flag and only lost one lap. You. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Derek. I tried to check up for Will and then the uh, 14 had nowhere to go. Yep. That is what happened. I need the EOL, my motor just blew. Fuck. <laughs> Angry cussing pace. I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. Lord have mercy. Let's go talk to Trenton. That's <laughs> why not, right? Trent, DG, got a copy? EOL. Hello? Hi. Well, you've been up to the front a few times here and find yourself there once again. Team Nesquik running up there, and uh, Cliff Mullins, of course, not on the lead lap, but it looks cool that he's beside you. He's about to be. Right. <laughs> so how do we feel about the race so far? And uh, a little bit past halfway, looks like you're coming to pit road, or no? Yeah. Um, I mean, hell, it's kind of bad. They're letting the drunk one lead them all. Well, it's you and not Cliff, so it's not like it's the really drunk one. Uh, I'm feeling pretty, pretty damn good right now, DG. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're racing also good. Have, I also have to pee. <laughs> oh, gosh. Get that Gatorade bottle ready. Uh, it's about to be a Budweiser can. What the hell? Michael's facing backward. Eh, it's Michael. Yeah, true, true. Anything with him surprise you anymore? That, that did. Fair enough. So yeah, we, top, we got a... Topped off the we tanks. Got, we got a pretty stout. Oh, go, go ahead. And topped off the tanks. We good to go to the end here? Gonna be close. Gonna be sweating bad it. Close. Hoping it for cautions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're, bud. We're bad close. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there, bud. <laughs> we, we're, we're, we're throwing strawberry milk and Budweiser in the tank there, bud. Oh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> I mean, hell, I'm... That, this is this is a CTC scheme, okay? We, no, I get team that. Was I've racing, seen Team Nesquik, okay? yeah, I know that stuff, but I'm just I'm yeah, trying to I'm, I'm the Budweiser drinking, and I'm, Nesquik at the same time does not sound like. Oh a good yeah, time. no, no, it don't. <laughs> I mean, I'm drink I'm drinking one of them. I've been drinking one of them for a bit. I went the entirety of that road course race, and that kind of screwed me. I managed to let Beach finish ahead of me, which is my one thing I didn't want to do. Yeah, I remember you saying but, that. That was your one goal this season is to not have Beach beat you. Yeah. Well, that's out the, window. That out the window on, on week three already. Uh, you'll have that on those big alcohol jobs. <laughs> What's your predictions for the rest of this? Is just going to get crazier from here? I mean, we've got those oh, hell yeah. green flag stops were kind of fun, but then uh, so many people picked up penalties. Apparently, I, I really wish that yellow wouldn't have come out, man. I know, you I had would, that five-second lead. Seven-second gap. Hey, it was five. Had a lap car to hang on to. Well, hell, they gained two seconds on it. That's not good. But, I mean, regardless, I was about to Dale Jr. 2006 this shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Instead. But now I got to pee, and I only got. I'm running out of beer, so we're going to have to hurry this up. Well, at least you have empty cans to pee in. That is true. We may have to come to that because it's starting to get pretty bad. <laughs> oh, hell, it's a little bit came down. That's not good. <laughs> now you're going to the back. Well, we got it fast. Nice, quick. Tree and Technology, Sneak Tombstone, Game Farm, Chevrolet, Camaro. We'll be back up there. Do you still have that faster pair? Oh, yeah, I do, actually. Good. That's good to know. So that uh, I overshot my box. That's suboptimal. Suboptimal. Yeah, but, you know, you're the only I'm one going... on pit road, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I'm throwing four on it. Why not? Really one down here. Yeah, you and Clapper, I think. And now Mullins. He's the wave no, around. I turn the car off. I'm max saving. Perfect. All right, sir. I just wanted to bring you in and have a little chitty chat because we can. Ten four. <laughs> All right, bud. Good luck. Thank you. Trenton was leading. Now the twenty-nine. DeBoer out in front. Margeson right behind him. Outside row is the pole sitter, the three of Carver, and then Will Spark behind him. Spark's been the cause of a couple of accidents tonight. Him about wrecking there all on his own caused this one. A little bit earlier, him getting pushed by Montrose caused that one. So we won't say will cause that one, but it happened. It's those damn numbers forward paint schemes on these Gen 6 cars. It's blasphemy. That's why you get involved in the wrecks. <laughs> Logan Rhodes, fifth. Cameron West is sixth. Bobby Patrika back up to seventh. 
Jonathan Christian, 8th. Tony Sanders, 9th. Nathan Harper, 10th. Now Lucky is 10th, because Lucky is on the inside line and pulled up to the back of the 01. Now Lucky's going around the 01. Lucky has no trunk, by the way. <laughs> Some weight saving hardcore there for the 83 car. Has no back end. Oh my gosh. It's going to get interesting. All those cameras are bad. Let's go with this one. Two thirds down. Green flag in the air for the green interstate battery Chevy. Three of Carver gets a pretty good start. He's going to try to get down in front. Able to do so. Will Spark now on the high line with teammate Cameron West. Down to 21 cars running in this one. Four of those one lap down. Carver leads back where he started. Outside lines taking a little while to form up. Let's check in and see how that 83 car is doing. Yeah, he's holding up this group because he has no rear end. There's no spoiler, no trunk, no back bumper. There's just nothing on the back of that 83 car. Elson's going to make his way around. Try to keep with the draft, but he's already lost it. Clapper Newell with the last car in that lead pack. He's up to 11th. Ian Montrose. I believe that's the 0-1 of Montrose. He's currently leading the Lucky Dogs. He's fighting Ethan Evers for that. Evers not even in the lead pack, so he's in good shape. It's that restart. Put a big gap. Back to the 84. And back to Scott Elson in the 12th. Ian still has that nose damage. He's going to have to push Scott. These cars all struggling to keep up, hoping for a yellow. Patrika working the outside lane, starting to move forward a bit. Got that fresh number 12 with the fast repair. See the damage to the 5 of Logan Rose, a lot of front end damage. Martison got some right rear damage to the 55. Car's looking a little beat up. Patrika up to third on the outside line with just Ian Montrose up there. Patrika moving forward. Looks like Will Sparks decided to jump out there with him. Patrika gets right down on Martison. And remember that truck race right? where like the front pack all wrecked and then like some slow guys behind him won? Well, to be fair, the guy that won was in that lead pack. <laughs> not where you are right now, buddy. Are you Damon's fake or can I push you? I think I'm down on horses. I think you probably just blow right past me. Well, we already lost that pack now, so I'm screwed either way. TJ and Jake. TJ, the last car still running 21st. Oh my gosh, almost had a wreck. Bobby Fatrika going for the lead on the high side. Help from the lap machine of Ian Montrose. Now um, Ian okay. gets to the outside. He wants to go to the lead. And there was a big check there. Oh, come on. I wasn't talking about you. Now was I. No one knows, because all you said was, I'm okay. <laughs> How about you keep your negative name to nonsense, like out of voice chat? There goes Patrika no, no, with I'll Carver. Getting rid of Machos. Daniel, I have nine. What you got? On what? Fuel? Yeah, I'm about to come down. I got 4.9. Whoa, okay. I'll let you know when I have to dive down then. Carver back to the lead. Bringing Edmund DeBoer with them. Bobby Patrika inside with Will Spark. Montrose is trying to stay that first car one lap down or even get to the lead so he can pass all the lap down machines. Restart as a lead lap car if they get a yellow.
front two cars look pretty clean. Montrose has a lot of rear end damage. Five has a lot of front end damage. Patrika looks clean. A little spark up there. Looks fairly clean. A little bit of back end damage to the 45. Got more gas, you know, showing us to leave this little group here so you can save as much fuel as you can in case cost comes out. Could do that. Montrose leading Patrika on the outside. I don't think this will work as well as it did with Patrika on the outside. Leading that group. Montrose has that rear end damage. If you're going to have damage, it might as well be the rear. The part of the car that spends the least amount of time going through the air. I don't think I'm close enough for it to matter, but I appreciate it. Five car, unable to suck up very well. A lot of front end damage to it. Takes him a bit of time to reel the car in front of him in. Contact with Montrose pushes him up wide. That will settle down. Patrika gets back in front. You know there's other cars on the road, right? You go by the 68. Jake Lawrence coming off pit road. Week one winner. Can't tell who that is they're catching. It's the 84. Jonathan Christian, last car in lead lap. Getting ready to be overtaken by the lead pack. Eighty four will move up high. Everyone makes their way by cleanly. Fifteen percent to let me get down there. Tony Sanders let Bobby Patrika in. So the top 10, all in the lead pack. Derek Watkins, five seconds back. They are not really gaining, staying right around 5-3. Check in on pack two. Watkins, Lawallen. Daniels a lap down in that 23. Oh, the 84 stays oh, low on him. When forced to go around. 83 hits his pit road here. Probably take a quick repair, fix that car. If he still has one. May not have it. Now that we have that question, let's take a look. See who may still have them. Second place, DeBoer still has a quick repair. Rhodes still has one. Harper, Sneed. It's all the cars in top 20 <laughs> still yeah, have a fast repair. Well. And everyone at the back of the field. So the only fast repairs left are in the top seven. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you must have blinked. You just showed up in my car. Oh my gosh. Yes, sir, Toby. Gonna be a late night. <laughs> Stand below the yellow. Don't worry about it. Ethan, you have a pet, right? No, I don't have to. Do you have to pit? Uh, I think so, but I don't know. The only one I know has to pit is Derek Watkins leading that group. It's been, well, him and Elston both have to pit. They're both in that second pack. Eight laps to go from Daytona. Field looks content to make laps and try to get to the end here. If they would use this strategy early in the race, people wouldn't leave. 
it takes a few wrecks for them to get them through their head, I guess. I gotta come next time by, Daniel. Alright, good boy. That was Scott Elston in 12th. And 41 and 85 both need to pit. 41 pitting this time. So that's folks back here in the backpack. None of our lead lap pack should have to hit pit road again. Carver leads to Boer, Road, Spark, Margison. Harper, Sneed, Patrika, Sander, and Cameron West. The top 10 all in that lead pack. We also have Ian Montrose, the 0 1. One lap down, 15th. He's open for that caution. He can pick up a wave around. Ethan Evers and 21 of Clapper Newell. Clapper is 11th on the lead lap. Ethan Evers. Has damage front end and back end, so probably should let 21 by. Probably be faster. 83 brushes the wall there as Lawrence goes by. How many laps of you got? 85 beats the 41 off. Should be good. There's Cliff Mullins by them. Cliff up to 12th. Like I'm right on the number. Those three not far from going a lot down. I get you as close as I can. That'll be Ian Montrose's fear. 10 4. Appreciate it. Here comes the field. The field's going to go around the outside. Uh, I guess I got an unsafe pit. Why do you got an unsafe pit exit? Cameron West. One right, boys. Falling back. 67 car no longer in that main pack. It's now nine cars in the lead draft. Eighty four moves up high for him. Christian goes two laps down. It's a gap opening up between third and fourth. Will Spark. Margison right on his bumper. Trying to get him to go. Is he going to get turned? Will Spark goes around. <laughs> we were talking about the gap they had opened up. Uh, wreck on the front. Will Spark sits there, holds the brake, and caution comes out. Because he did not get going. He well, did that on purpose. That Thank you, guys. And now things are going to get bunched up, and we're going to have an exciting finish. Safe. I appreciate you, man, for helping me there. Uh, green, white checkers, yes or no? Yep, three of them. Yeah, we got three of them. And four. So I can help Scott for some reason going left out of the black flag. That's probably my fault, there's that story. I was trying to save, and I needed to save desperately. I was wondering what the hell you were doing. <laughs> we we were trying to make it. I, I could have made it. I was, need, I was in dire need of a shove. Well, you got one. <laughs> and maybe I was saving too. Yeah, I was saving too, guys. <laughs> he wanted to shove. He got one. <laughs> I was posed. I was going to be like two tenths short. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, my God. Just clutching the turn thing. Well, 12 cars on the lead lap. Yamancho should get lucky dog. You think you're good? As long as he didn't get tagged. Yeah, I'm just about to run out of fuel. Uh, 
What's going on? He's out. Of, he's out of fuel. Push him. <laughs> push him, Jeremy. You pushed you. You push him. Ethan, I'll, I'll push you here, buddy. Cooperation. No King. But there isn't wind. Well, I appreciate. Should see everyone take fuel here. I good. doubt we'll see tires, yeah, so there should be a lot of I'm good, appreciate six six ish second stops to six to eight. Touche, Scott. Touche. Carver down and away. Oh, well, Beat the five out of the pit lane. Wonder if the five took his fast repair yet. Does not look like it. She's stumbling. <laughs> yep, Logan Road still hanging on that fast repair, despite the whole front end of that five car being beat to hell. And he's going to be the leading the outside lane here. Hi, Lucky. Probably still has no button 83. Because he had already used his fast repair. Yep. No ass. No ass on that 83 car. It's got that it's disease. No ass at all. Fuck you! Wow. <laughs> Fucking tell me how to drive, asshole. Angry cuss and pace. Can do another shot. Do okay. another shot. Oh, God. May not be the best idea. Hell, I just cracked up enough beer. Who's hanging out in chat closest to the front? Beside Trent. Where are you talking to him? Zach. Zach it is. Hello. Hello? Hello. Well, you're the closest car Hello. to the front of the field that's in Discord chat that we haven't talked to yet. So congratulations. Oh, perfect. You're getting an interview. Awesome. Rutgers or checkers, perfect. Cliff. How do we feel about this race so far? Find yourself seventh. You got anything to try and get to the front? Well, I accidentally took tires, so I have that. Yeah, you're the closest car to the front on fresh tires. Could help. Yeah, so hopefully that might help. Yeah, and maybe they might wreck on the last lap with some shenanigans I did last night, and uh, I'll be in the right spot at the right time to do something. You're not far enough back for that. <laughs> well, I would have to get TJ Floyd to get in front of me, and then, you know... <clears throat> <laughs> the wreck. Just push him into it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Alright, well. Good idea. We're what? Half a lap away from going back green. First attempt at a green yeah, white or... checker. You go run Friday Fun Night with us tonight? Someone's winning 20 bucks. Uh, I have Boulder's Gate 3 plans. Mm. Well, that sounds fun. I don't think you can do both at the same time, though. No. It'd be hard. Yes, it would definitely would be. <laughs> Alright, bud. Good luck to you in this one. We'll see how it shakes out. Okie dokie, thank you. Hi, Jake. Hello. Bye, Jake. Bye. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Jump back up in the broadcast booth. Josh Carver, Logan Rhodes. Be your front row. Logan Rhodes has the nose damage on that five car, so we'll see how long the field decides to stay behind him. 07 behind him of Nathan Harper. May not know that he has damage, but he'll find out real fast. Trent Sneed only has some right rear damage on the next quick car. Always say if you're going to get damaged, the back's the place to get it. That five car is basically a parachute in the front of that car slowing him down. First attempt, Green White Checker, the Golden Eagle Syrup Super Speedway Series. Check them out, goldeneaglesyrup.com. Pace car heads on off. Josh Carver, Logan Rhodes. Front row for the restart. Here we go. Green flag in the air. They're checking up already on the inside line. That has been dangerous before. Fortunately, a smaller field at this point. It looks like most people have survived it. There goes the 07 immediately to the left of the 5. Did not want to get stuck pushing them. Trent Sneed, Bobby Patrika, held up behind the five car, knowing there's damage on the nose of that car. 
Carver jumps up in front of him. Those two are teammates at Rev Motorsports. So the five should follow the three just about anywhere he goes to the last lap. He did, Lucas. He missed him. He also missed Spa. Pretty sure you like Spa. We're three wide in this tiny pack. Go figure. TJ Floyd to the outside. Floyd, the first car, one lap down, trying to stay there in case this caution comes out before the white flag, but I don't think it's going to matter for him. Trenton Sneed, Bobby Vitrika pushed to the lead. Now Bobby thought to go to the inside, wasn't clear of the three, had to go back up. Trenton gets a decent lead here. TJ Floyd up the middle. Don't know where he's going a lap down. Not going to help him get anywhere. Trenton, Bobby Vitrika, one and two. Josh Carver gets hit by the lap car of TJ Floyd. Caution's not going to come out. It's not going to help anybody. The 15 makes contact with the 55. They both meet the wall. Bobby Patrika pushing Trenton Sneed down the back stretch. Cliff Mullins is there now, as is the 29 of Edwin DeBoer. Patrika to the outside of Trenton Sneed. Trenton holds him off, gets the elbows out. Cliff Mullins gets up into the 12. Now those two are teammates, Cliff Mullins and the 81. Edwin DeBoer in the 29 looks to go to the inside, but Trenton Sneed has all the lead he needs. Cliff Mullins will go a little high, but Trenton Sneed gets the win. Bobby Patrika. Showing him his second. That's just not right. Cliff Mullins gets second. Edwin DeVore in third. Bobby Patrika fourth. Logan Rhodes finishes fifth. Trenton Sneed gets the win in the Golden Eagle Syrup Super Speedway Series. Yeah, Cliff definitely helped his teammates, stayed in line, gave him a push. Bobby gives him a bump. Trenton Sneed picks up the win. He's going to be excited. That'll be a fun interview for the winner. If we get the top three to the waiting room, please, and thank you, Edwin DeBoer, Cliff Mullins, and Trenton Sneed. I haven't seen Edwin all night, but we have Trenton, and we have... We'll let Wadi do Edwin's <laughs> interview if he doesn't show up, just so he can talk to all of Chance, too. Trenton's not even celebrating. <laughs> Going down the lane. Sir? Sir? Sir, you're not celebrating on, on pit road. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. Give me like two minutes. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm gonna pee so bad. Okay, oh bye. my god. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, lucky you got a trunk back by the end of the race. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so great. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. <laughs> Cliff's doing any burnouts for him. Let's talk to Cliff. Well, your teammate had to pee, so you're doing burnouts for him. Uh, next quick yeah, team, I, one, I, two. I had to take over. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that was really entertaining. Did you think about making a move there, or was it stay in line the whole time as you were coming to the line? Uh, I mean, I kind of thought about it, honestly. Uh, I, had, I had a little bit of a run coming out of four, and I was like, if I can get a shot at him, I, I might shoot to the outside of him. But, uh, yeah. When it was when it was him and Pop him and Bobby up there up top, I was just like, you know, wherever wherever eighty one goes, that's where I'm going. So you know, it's awesome to get Trenton to win here and uh yeah, I mean I, I know that I'm not doing any kind of points racing. He's kinda of a little bit a little bit more into it, but uh yeah, it was uh I thought I, I, I honestly thought about maybe making a move on him right there at the end. <laughs> I would have been surprised. <laughs> All right, but you got that P2 finish tonight. Congrats on that. I hope you uh, enjoyed racing with us out there. It was cool to see two Nesquik cars out there. Felt like CTC race. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it was pretty awesome to have the uh, Nesquik cars out here and uh, to come one two here. So, uh, you know, the uh, as 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 Trenton likes to say, the um, strawberry supremacy with the Nesquik team. Um, yeah. <laughs> Brought it back to the CTC days. We used to just line up and just to dominate everybody on the super speedways. So uh, to come out one two, I didn't think I had a chance in hell right there on that last damn uh, on that last run. I was I was fixing to go lap down and and was fixing to run out of gas and uh, and, and got the caution when I needed it and uh, it, it kind of worked out for me to uh, get back up there and then it was just you know checkers and records at that point. And they bring it home P two. Very guy. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> hey, let's, let's see if Mr. I Gotta Pee is back. Are you back now? Oh, hey. my God. Hey, Swiss Miss Instant Piss. Mm, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you held on and won that one. Very exciting fashion and uh, got that strawberry Nesquik car to victory lane. How do we feel about the race? <laughs> oh, Perfect. God. 
I I don't know. How I feel I'm, I don't think I've ever been so much shock in my life. Homie, I, I got I gotta get a drink here. I got I gotta finish this anything off now. Chug the Budweiser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you almost slide up into the wall? Oh, dude, I got a hell of a buzz going right now. See, now you just have to race every race like this. Hell, I might. Damn, I would. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks to to the twelve, um, he pushed me up front, and I, I, I think uh, we're at old Daytona, so I think the spirit of Dale possessed this car for that final stretch. I, I was just trying to go wherever he was to keep the push going. We damn near wrecked. I don't know three, four times. And finally, he got me a good shot. It sent me all the way to the bottom. Uh, but Cliff was able to, to pick me up from there. And it's just try to control both lanes. I mean, holy hell, I cannot believe that actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> this, deep. Of, course it's, of course, it's not in a Sidewinder car. It's the friggin' CTC car. But, I mean, I, that's three wins in this thing. This, this is good voodoo. I may have to run this quick from here on. Do you even have, like, the Golden Eagle on this? No, you didn't even put your, your decals on. No, I didn't have enough time. Yeah, <laughs> this guy. At, I know, but, I mean, I'm kind of doing a Alan Quickly uh, Polish victory lap right now, trying to get my my thoughts halfway together. It's only going to get worse, because I'm, I'm a tall boy. I'm almost done now. Hold on, I got, I'm going to finish it off right here. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, get yep. better. <laughs> it's like a Stone Cold Steve Austin interview. What the hell? <laughs> if y'all are excited that Trent Sneed just won this race, give me a hell yeah! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the 81 won. What? All I right. blocked the field. What? Are we going to stay alive for the Friday fun night? No. <laughs> no. I, I, I'm thinking I can't drive in a straight line on a pace lap, let alone do whatever's going on there. Isn't that the point of Friday uh, I Sunday? Will. I will, right here, though. I will go ahead and burn it down. Finally. I've only been waiting for like five minutes. Woo! There you go. You're lucky that the board never showed up for their interview, so I could just let you have all their time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bud. Congrats on that victory tonight. We'll see you next week. Hold on. I got to give the, the official shout outs first. You took too long. I'm, Go ahead. Well first, <laughs> well, first, thank God, finally. Took two, three years to get one done, but. After 20 seasons of trying. Pretty much it. They don't it too. That's the fun part. <laughs> but Tree and Technologies, you want access, control, video surveillance, alarm, treeinusa.com. Tell them I sent you. Stay Tombstone Game Farmer, you want to purchase some roosters? Check them out. The can entirety of C2X. Can we call them Cox uh, instead? Oh, yeah, Cox. Perfect. Game Cox. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's uh, unconfirmed, but the final race of the Street Sox is going to be uh, the top cock 130. It's going to be kind of wow. top gun beat. Perfect. But the entire C2X, Cliff, for that final shot at the end. Andrew Beachy beat me in a road course. Uh, Adam Crozier, Jeff Price, D. Waddy. Uh, Quinn came in to hang out here tonight for this. He unfortunately uh, died. Uh, lucky when he joins us. Um, you for broadcasting, STC Imperium Racing, BCR Sim Products. Uh, I got decided, I think decided know me awareness on the, the B pillar for this thing. I kind of hope I do. But yeah, thank my family. I know Mom and Whitley was watching. Whitley, you watched Uncle Bubba get one. It's a good <laughs> night. <laughs> All right, Bubba. Well, yeah. Congrats on the win tonight and uh, go enjoy it. Woo! We're going to drink a lot of beer, let me tell you. <laughs> Trenton. What an interview. All right. Let's look at our final results. I promise we can do this. Let's move that, move that, move that, move that, and then bring this up. Perfect. <laughs> and it goes straight to what the heck. Let's not start there. Nope, it still wants to start there. Here we go. Trenton Snee, Cliff Mullins, Edwin DeBoer, Bobby Patrika, Logan Rhodes, Will Spark, Nathan Harper, Josh Carver, Jeremy Clapper Newell, and Tony Sanders, your top 10. Page 2, Scott Elson, Ian Montrose, Zach Martinson, TJ Floyd, Ethan Evers, Jake Lawrence, Daniel Wallen, Cameron West, Lucky, and Derek Watkins. Final page, Jonathan Christian, Mike Edwards, Quinn Newton, Douglas Ross Jr., Adam McKinney, Travis Carmetta, Logan Pugh, and Troy Burke. Those are our 28 racers for tonight. Hope you enjoyed this awesome race. We're getting ready to do Friday Fun Night after this, so you can win 20 bucks if you have your iRacing stuff all up to date. Come race with us. We'd love to have you. Uh, we have to run through our sponsors real quick while we get this burnout from Trenton, which is really loud, but it's kind of perfect. 
Here we go with the sponsors. Oh my gosh, things are popping up where they shouldn't as Trenton blows his motor. Blue is load. 911fleetservices.com does our cup series on Wednesday. I had to think Cave City Roleplay does Thursday night's truck race. Then we have Fort Worth Screen Printing and F2Bscreen.com. They do our Tuesday Xfinity race. And then FSM Customs did our IMSA race a little while ago on the Fridays. Golden Eagle Syrup put on this very broadcast for you guys. So appreciate them hopping in and helping us out with that. The Light of My Life US does the candle giveaway every Tuesday during the Tuesday races, so come on by. Win yourself a candle on Tuesdays. M9 Performance, they do our late night Tuesday modified series. Then Stewed Teamstone Game Farm does our Street Stocks on Sunday. Spit and Venom Podcast, our Arca series on Monday. And 1023 Graphics does our Tuesday Dirt Street Stock series. Appreciate all of them helping us put on our show here. They keep the motors running for the leagues that are the Sidewinder Racing Leagues. You want for more information, go to dgsracing.com. Click the big red snake. That'll get you to the Discord where you can sign up to run any nine of our any nine of our different leagues. There we go. That was hard to say for some reason. Here we go. Going to go to Friday Fun Night. Have to say the iRacing disclaimer first. iRacing.com. Head on over there. Pick up this track and these cars. Come race with us. We appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Have a great night and bye-bye.